Hi, this is Dr. Hurt from Capital Chiropractic. And what I wanna talk about today is one of the most common questions that I get asked here at the office. And that is, what is the best way for me to sit in my chair at work? So before I get into that, what I wanna to talk to you about is, I actually discourage you from sitting. I know that at work, you have to sit, but what I suggest is that every 20 to 25 minutes that you get up and move. Even if it's just to stand up for 10 or 15 seconds, what this does, it allows your body to kind of do a reset on its posture and its structure. When we are sitting, what we want to do is we want to optimize our structure. We want to make sure that we're keeping and protecting these curves in the spine. So what I'm going to demonstrate here today is one of the best ways I believe is for you to sit. So I'm going to demonstrate it from the side view. So when you get to your chair, what I'm going to get you guys to do is you're actually going to bend down and you're going to stick your butt out. Okay. We want to try to keep the spine straight from kind of the hip and the shoulder. And then what you're doing is the goal is for you to get your butt, your hips into the back corner here of the chair. So when you sit down, you're aiming for that back corner. And when you get into this position, you're almost, you can see how you're slowly bent forward. The next step here is, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your hands and you're actually gonna lift your spine up, okay? Your butt, your glutes are still in contact with the chair and then you're gonna lean back. And when you lean back, you know you're, you're doing this right because it's gonna sound a little gross, guys, but your skin rolls or fat rolls are actually gonna go over the edge here of the chair. Why you wanna do, why we wanna do this? Because we wanna get you out of this position because when we get in front of a computer what happens over time we start to move and we call translate forward that creates that anterior head syndrome what it does the shoulders round it puts tension and pressure back here and then also the hips move forward but by getting your butt in this back corner it's going to help keep your hips in a neutral position and this here what this does it allows you to decompress and distract the spine, okay? And this is a really great way actually position for people that may be suffering from herniated discs that have to sit. This allows to take some pressure off that nerve, okay? So I hope that you found this information valuable. If you have any questions, please email us, share this video with your friends and family.